you got to touch on your MVP season. I mean, it definitely was a big one. Were you, were you, were you, were you shocked when you, when you were there? Uh, I knew I was up there, and I knew I knew people liked me, liked my game, liked me on and off the court. And uh, character always helps when it comes down to that. Uh, get recognized on the court and off the court, and uh, I really appreciate it um, from the league. It's definitely an honor. I know uh, I think the coaches and the league ended up voting for it, and just just get recognized by the league is a real, real honor. I went out there and played versus the same team as everybody else played versus the same players as everybody else. I mean, uh, every time I stepped on that court in maybe one game this year, I was the leading scorer in the league, and uh, they had a game plan against me. And yeah, it wasn't perfect every night, but I was on everybody's uh, scout report, uh, top notch. Me and Sammy running the pick and roll. I you know just a lot of things, shooting a high percentage inside outside game. I mean, coaches they had to know where I was, and um, I, I they respected my game. And I think at the end of the day, that's where a lot of coaches saw me fight through it and, and do my best, and that's where they they honor. So I really appreciate it. Uh, I wonder if you can talk about how, how, how you landed here in NBL Canada. How, how that got you end up here? Yeah, actually, uh, Dave Magley's been trying to get me to come to this league for two years now when he's in at Brampton. I've always had uh, just better offers overseas that I felt were better for me at the time. And then I had a little daughter overseas this year. Me and my wife decided we want to be closer to home. We have family in Buffalo. With so yeah, it was very frustrating when I found out I was getting cut. I mean, it was two, two and a half months before the season. I really. I would work there. I worked hard with the team on and off the court. I had the guys over all the time. We watched film. I, we had meals. We hung out. Good, good team chemistry. A lot of the guys in London. So when I came in and I found out I was cut two months before the season, I was very shocked because me and my wife, I mean, this was our plan. We moved our life up there. We did a lot of things to get situated there. And then to find out we're going to get cut without even having them see me play a game in front of refs, in front of fans. The lights were never on. I didn't understand it, but I wasn't supposed to be there. I understand it now. So God always has a plan. Uh, they got my best. They definitely got my best this year. A little extra motivation. Um, but uh, this is good, fun competition. It's basketball. I know a lot of those guys. It's a, a little personal things here and there, but it was fun. It's always fun to go battle somebody like that. Uh, fans were great, man. First year organization. It's hard to get people to buy in, but I think we averaged around 12, 1300. We had over 2800 one night. I mean, they're going to come back. They love the product. I wish we could have won more games from this year. I know some of the diehard fans are going to go through the ups and downs with us, and that's what makes it special for them. Uh, the guys that are with us all along, because this is going to be a successful organization, though they're going to get rewarded. So it's uh, awesome to have the diehard fans. I know more people are going to jump on. It's going to be an awesome uh, atmosphere next year. They definitely do things right here. The owners are great. I mean, we have a, we have a great venue. They treat the players great. I mean, they're new to new to basketball, new to the league. Um, I think they've learned a lot. And but as for the, the organization, it's top notch. And now they they know where to go from here. And that's the most important thing is next year they're going to make the right changes. They they took their licks. They they learned a lot, and uh, they're going to take it to the next level next year. I think it's going to be good for the league. Like that, the Riverlines regained the lead for the first time since the first quarter. Logan sets now.